Hello, I'm Bert Richard, and today I want to show you how we can begin to rank high on Google. Now, of course, you can do a bunch of research, and you can find out and do a lot of reading on how you can get your website to rank high on Google, but how about I just show you real quick? So let's do that. First thing we need to know, that is, if we want to rank high, then we need to have a page on our website or a post on our website that targets a certain keyword. So the first thing I like to do is I like to open up a blank notepad and I like to type in here, okay, well, what keyword do I want to target? Okay, so I always just put in there so I can keep it on the top of my mind, keyword. What do I want to target? Well, let's say today for this example, we're going to be talking about the Grand Canyon, okay? But we know if we are talking about the Grand Canyon, right, the Grand Canyon is a very competitive word. But let's say that we're going to build a site on the Grand Canyon. Even though Grand Canyon would be one of your key words, you wouldn't necessarily try to target for that. You would target other words that people would be searching for, like, you know, trails in the Grand Canyon or other things like that. For example, Havasu Falls is very popular. That's another popular place in the Grand Canyon. So, I would do my research and I would say, okay, well, this is the key word that I want to target. So I put that in my notepad. Have a Sioux Falls. That's what I want. And then I have to write my article. Keep in mind, you want your article to be around, you know, 300, 400, 500 words, you know, somewhere really between 250, 700 words. Try not to go much longer. People don't have that much time to read. So write your article. In order to write your article, you need to educate yourself. So you go to Google and you do as much research as you can and you read several articles on the Havasu Falls. Look at it, get plenty of information. So let's write our article. Okay, now that we've written our article with our main keyword being Havasu Falls, now we need to go in there and we need to upload this article. And now I'm going to show you how using the right tools can help you to get ranked quickly. So let's do that. Let's log in. So I'm going to log in to WordPress. This tool is actually really, really good if you're writing articles or anything. So this is a great tool. So let me take it to show you. We're going to log into this site. And this is just a Grand Canyon site that we're building. Okay, so we log in. First thing we want to do is we want to add a pager, add a post. So let's do that. All right. The first thing we're going to start out with is our title. Keep in mind, our main keyword is Havasu Falls, okay? So our title needs to have Havasu Falls in it. So let's stick our title in there. And this one, we have Havasu Falls Experience. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to copy and paste our article in there. Now, once we copy and paste our article, we go right below the article, and we're going to type in our main keyword, okay? Our main keyword. So what you want to do now is you want to search for this keyword box once you've installed this particular keyword tool. So we're going to put in Havasu Falls right there. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and this is another plugin that you want to have. This one is a free plugin, all in one SEO pack. So you put that in there, and you can put your title up here, but we already have our title, so it's not necessary to put that in there. But you do want to have a description, because this description is what most search engines use 160 characters. And what is the description? Well, let's go back to our Google search. Your Google search, if you were searching, you know, Havasu Falls or whatever, this few words at the bottom right here, this 160 characters, Google's going to use 160 characters. And if you don't have anything or you don't give them anything, there's nothing there. So you want to make sure that you type in something that when searchers are looking for you, they can find something that's going to be interesting. Something in that description is going to make them click. So let's go there. Normally, it should be in the first portion of your article. Let's copy and paste the first portion. It doesn't have to be the first portion of your article. 
you can type in anything in here that is going to grab their attention okay let's adjust this so we can see that it's telling us we have 211 characters and we can only use a maximum of 160 characters so let's fix that we're going to back this up a little bit ah now we have 161 and dot 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 now now our description says Havasu Falls is without doubt one of the most amazing places you will ever experience the Havasupi tribe is the guardian for this beautiful place with its see and dot 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 this should make our readers want to click to find out more now down here is where we want to put our other keywords any keywords that you think someone might type up here in the Google search to try to find anything out about the Grand Canyon or about Havasu Falls now since this particular page on our website is going to be talking about Havasu Falls we're going to target anything that our searchers might be typing in order to find out anything about the Havasu Falls okay so that's what you want to put in here so just begin typing anything that you think your searchers will be looking for here's another alternative we can go directly to our Google keyword tool so why don't we do that in your search bar just type in Google keyword tool it's usually going to come up being the very first one here so let's type that now as it opens up most of the time it asks us to type in this capture so let's type that in and submit now our main keyword is Havasu Falls so let's type that in here and hit search now Google is going to immediately come up with a bunch of searches what I like to do is go straight to the bottom come down here click on a hundred I want as many words as I can get not more than a hundred though I'm gonna scroll back to the top and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort it by the highest global searches so now the most popular words or the most popular search words are right at the top the next thing you need to do is you need to go in and look at these and find anything that you know obviously does not have anything to do with Havasu Falls your main keyword okay so come down here and check anything you know does have to do with it anything that doesn't we want us to just skip right over so pick everything and go all the way through your hundred words here and pick out only the things that have to do with Havasu Falls or you know someone might be typing in to find Havasu Falls so I'm gonna pause the video as we do that okay I'll scroll down here and as you can see I've only checked off the words that are extremely relevant okay there are words in here like you can see skywalk and that's nearby but they but they may not be here's uh, oh have a soup by falls I need to mark that but here's have a loop I well that's another tribe here's something about the uh, some Papalini helicopters Williams Arizona hotels monument Valley. these things don't have anything to do with the Havasu Falls so I'm not gonna check them so we'll scroll down and I've got only the ones and most of them have something to do or are very relevant to have a to have a Sioux Falls so once you do that you have all of them now that you've chosen all of the words that have to do with have a Sioux Falls then come up here and click on this button for download download just those that you've selected now you come over here it automatically gives you the CSV for XL but I like to come down to the one underneath it these are basically the same it's just that this one at the top will zip it up and it just saves me a step so come right here to CSV hit download give it just a second it will download and I like to save it to my desktop where I can easily find it and here it is at my desktop so I'll open it up once it's open all of my keywords are here so I'm gonna come to this tab and I'm just gonna open this up now all of my keywords are here so now I can copy and paste all of these keywords and it's just those that I've checked so I'm gonna copy that and then I'm gonna go ahead and close this now I'm gonna come back to our notepad where we wrote our article and I'm gonna come to the bottom here and I'm gonna paste it into the bottom of my article now there is our list in order to put it into our website we need to put commas behind each and every one of these so 
The quickest way to do that is just to come through here and put commas behind each one. Thank you.